So now, if I have three vectors, v sub 1, v sub 2, v sub 3, and I have a vector b is equal to 3, 8, 1, tell me if b is a linear combination of v sub 1, v sub 2, and v sub 3. And how can you figure out the, the coefficients x sub 1 to x sub n so that you can express b in terms of these vectors? That's right. From what we, were just, from what we just talked about, we can just make a matrix A, take all these vectors as its column vectors, 1, 2, negative 1, 1, 3, 1, 1, 4, 3, and solve the linear system A times x is equal to B for the vector x. If it has a solution, then B is a linear combination of these vectors. And we will know the solution, x, which gives us the coefficients to express B as x1 times v sub 1, x2 times v sub 2, plus x3 times v sub 3. And if it does not have a solution, then B is not a linear combination of these vectors. So now I would like you to practice on yourself solving this linear system ax equal to b, where a is this matrix, b is this vector. Remember how to solve a linear system? That's right, you form the auxiliary matrix 1, 2, negative 1, 1, 3, 1, 1, 4, 3, 3, 8, 1. And you try to use row reductions to reduce it to echelon form. Once you've done that, you'll find that in the end, the solution is x1 can be expressed in terms of x3, and so can x2. So x3 is a free variable where x1 and x2 can be expressed in terms of x3. And what does this mean? Not only do we have possible coefficients x1, x2, and x3, so that b can be expressed in terms of x1, v1 plus x2 times v2 plus x3 times v3. But we have infinitely many possible coefficients like that. For example, if we pick x3 is equal to 2, then x1 is going to be 3, and x2 is going to be negative 2. So that is one possible way to express b in terms of the three vectors. If we pick x3 is equal to 1, then x1 is equal to 2, and x2 is equal to 0. So this is another possibility of expressing b. And there are infinitely many of these possibilities of expressing b in terms of v1, v sub 2, and v sub 3.